Clue with Red Hat, and today I want to demonstrate how to use a combination of advanced cluster management, OpenShift Data Foundation, and some new disaster recovery operators. So to start with, we're looking at what I've imported into advanced cluster management. I have the local cluster where ACM is currently installed, and then I have four clusters which we'll find have a particular relationship in terms of failing over. And those four are BOS1, BOS2, PERF1, and PERF3. So this is the view for ACM. Let's look at the cluster where ACM is installed and the operators. So the operators are going to be advanced cluster management. And then the two that go with disaster recovery are OpenShift Data Foundation Multi-Cluster Orchestrator and OpenShift DR Hub Operator. In addition to that, if we were to look at the managed clusters, BOS1, BOS2, PERF1, and PERF3, they all have OpenShift Data Foundation installed as well. In addition to that, they have the DR Cluster Operator. I'll just show you one of them so you can see that. And we see that this is BOS1. It has OpenShift Data Foundation and OpenShift DR Cluster Operator. So let's go ahead, go back to Advanced Cluster Management. And what I want to do is install an application. This application is the one we're going to use for testing failover. It's called Pacman. And I'm installing it using a GitHub that I forked that has the the Pacman resources so it can be installed. And I'll just choose my fork. And I have a branch here. I created it so that I could use a ODF volume for the persistent storage. And here's in this path is where all the resources are. Now we'll go down and we want to deploy the application on a particular cluster, so we'll use a label that is assigned to that cluster, and it will be the name BOS1. So we'll just go ahead and create it. And what we can do is we can go to the Topology tab, and we can watch it being created. And it, it happened pretty quick there. But what we do notice is that it is on the OCP4 BOS1. So now what I want to do is I actually want to go to the application and play the game. So what we need to test is if any data that we create persists. And the data that we can create is called the high score. So let's just see if Annette can lose very quickly. I'm getting there. The reason I want to lose quickly is because as soon as I lose, I get to save a high score. So I'm just going to save my high score. Now, this is the disaster recovery, and we haven't set up a DR policy yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is a view that's called the multi-cluster console. And from here, I can go to data services and then data policies. Right now, I don't have a data policy. So let's go ahead and create one. And to start with, I'm going to do one for the two clusters that we're working with. So I'm just going to make up a name here. Basically, is informative because it tells me the clusters I'm going to choose. And I'm going to use a two-minute replication interval to replicate the data. When I choose these clusters and go down and look at it, it tells me the name of the storage cluster because OpenShift Data Foundation is installed. It tells me that their current relationship is asynchronous. So what that means is that the two clusters, their storage clusters are connected but it is not a synchronous relationship. So there's two storage clusters. So we're going to basically replicate between the two. And then I can change the sync interval. So this one I'm going to call OCP4 perf1 and OCP4 perf3. 
Now what's important about this is I'm not going to put a replication interval because after we select these two, it's going to show us that the relationship is actually synchronous. And what that means is that we are using an external storage cluster from Red Hat Ceph storage that's connected to both of the OpenShifts, but it's a single storage plane. So therefore we can do synchronous replication, which basically makes our recovery point objective zero, meaning we will not lose data if we have to fail an application over from one cluster to the other. I can go ahead and create this similar to the other one. We're not going to use that one though. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply the DR policy to the Pac-Man application. So let's go ahead and apply that. Once we've applied it, the replication will start and we can wait a, a few minutes here for the data to be replicated that we did here. And then once we have that, we can go ahead and fail over. And we're going to go down to installed operators. We want to be in the Pacman project. So let's just type Pacman, select that project. And then we go to the OpenShift DR hub operator and we're gonna use a, a custom resource in here called DR placement control. DR placement control was just created when we assign the DR policy. So we're gonna modify these action. Well, we're going to add the action actually in this case, and we're going to tell it what cluster it should fail over to. So first we will modify this with the action, which is going to be failover, and then we'll tell it the failover cluster is going to be OCP4 boz 2 Okay, so we'll save that. Now we can watch the failover in a couple different ways. We can look at the events here in the uh, DR placement control. We can also go back to ACM and we can actually watch it here as well. What's going to happen is it's going to fail over to the alternate cluster BOS2. And actually by the time I got back, it had already happened. So if we look now, everything is running on the BOS2 instead of the BOS1. Let's go ahead first and look at our load balancer. And our load balancer now has switched and the green is showing the bottom route, which is the BOS2 route. Let's refresh, bring up Pacman again, and then we'll go to high score to see if it stayed. And there it is. We created the data on the BOS1 cluster and we're able now, because of replication, to see the same data on the BOS2 cluster. So that is an example of creating an application, assigning a data policy, and then failing over to the failover cluster for this policy. Thank you for your time.